Hey guys, what's up today? I'm so I for easy transition for a music video. Oh, without wasting any time, let's jump into it. Hey guys, we're back in Premiere Pro. Now I'm gonna show you a four easy transition in here. So I got my glitch ready. Now I'm gonna create the adjustment layer real quick. So that's my adjustment layer done. I'll make it 10 frame. So I'll hit shift arrow key to the left and cut that up in the right two times. And cut that. Make sure to hold shift when you are using the arrow key so you will know 5 frames. Drag and drop the by brightness and contrast onto your layer. Then go to effect control and and just uh, hit the stopwatch icon in the brightness and contrast. Take those and put it over the beginning and go over the clips ends. Then just up the brightness and the contrast too. So you will get this bright effect. Now go to the end again and just reset it and put it on end. Then you will have this easy a fast transition that a lot of editors use in their videos. It is a really cool transition. I can even select the keyframe and move it a bit further to make it a bit fast. So you can see how it looks like. It's just, it's just a quick flash like let's move on to the other clip. I'll duplicate this uh, adjustment there and delete the brightness and contrast from here and put it into the center. Once you have the adjustment, I'll go to the fix file and drag and draw about transform in here. But now we will make a quick zone transition. Go where the clips ends, then hit the stopwatch in the scale icon. Then move it to the beginning again and just zoom it in. Go a bit further and just reset the keyframe and move it out. It doesn't look that much good but you can make it good by just changing the shutter angle to 180. Make sure to uncheck the composition shutter angle. And you will have this quick little transition right there. You can also move the keyframe a bit closer. So it, up, it happens really quick like that. It's good to use when the beats hits, like when the bass hits, you can use this. I just zoom out a little because I thought that the zooming is a little too much. So the next transition gonna be a quick blur transition. So go to the effects panel and drag and drop a potassium blur onto the adjustment there and go to the effects control again. Hit the stopwatch icon in the blur, blurriness and then move it over. Then go to the cut and just up the value and go to the end again and just reset it. So we have this quick little blur transition. You can source it up by just adding a little flash. So I'm gonna add a brightness and contrast again. Drag and drop it onto my adjustment layer. Go, go, go where the blur is in this and up the value again. Like there, then keyframe it and go up to the beginning and just reset the values. Go to the beginning end and just reset the values. So you can get some good results like this. Then what you can also do is play with the verticals and horizontal in here. If you set it to vertical, you get this vertical motion blur kind of transition. It looks really cool. Then the normal blur transition, I guess. So I'm gonna increase that a bit. And you can also down the brightness, I guess. You can also make the transition a bit faster by just dragging the keyframe up it closer. Like I'm doing, like that. So you can see like really high energy kind of effect. For the next transition, I'm gonna just nest this wood clip. Uh, so we don't have any trouble. Then go with the clip split, then just hit Add or shift arrow key and just cut the layer and do the same to the other side and just right click it in speed and duration just make it like 300 so we have the speed ramp effect so make it do it to the another clip too i'm gonna make it 300 again and then drag the clip closer then that's how we do the speed ramp effect like it is a really high energy transition as you can see this transition is my favorite this is a very seamless transition and you can use this in any video to source it up a bit i'm gonna just 
right click and nest this clip real quick and then add a rsmb in here rsmb in here it's just a personal choice but i'm gonna do that and uh, set it to 0.5 i guess that will be fine then you can see the result so that's it for today's video guys if you like this quick tutorial you leave the like button and subscribe for more videos like this see ya later bye